Hi, this is Jacob Avila of 5 Minutes Stono, and today I'm going to show you how to look for right heart strain. Your probe of choice for this examination is going to be the phased array probe, and there really are more than one way to evaluate for right heart strain. We're going to start with a perishable long axis approach first. With the perishable long, with the way that most ED ultrasound machines are formatted, the probe marker is going to go down to the left hip, and this is the image that you're going to look for. Now, this image is one that we've seen previously when we're evaluating for left heart function, but for here, what we're going to look for is we really want to be able to compare um, the left atrium here, the aorta here, and the right ventricle. They should each be around the same size. So if you look at these three kind of structures here, you see that if we were to kind of eyeball measure these three structures, we'd see that they're about the same size. Now I want you to compare that previous image to this one right here. If we compare those three structures, we can see that the right ventricular outflow tract is much bigger than the left atrium and the aorta. Another view you can use to evaluate for right heart strain is to use a parasternal short axis window. When you have the patient in a parasternal long axis, just rotate the probe about 90 degrees and you'll get the short axis view. What you want to focus in on here is the left ventricle. See how the left ventricle here is nice and round? That's the uh, mitral valve flapping away right there. This should be nice and round here. This is a normal size of the left ventricle. The right ventricle usually kind of loops around the left ventricle. If you have an enlarged right heart, that interventricular septum right here, you'll see it actually bow into the left ventricle. This is the left ventricle here, and here's an enlarged right ventricle. This creates something that we like to call the D-shaped ventricle. So if you see this, think right heart strain. Another window that you can use to look for right heart enlargement is to use the sub-xiphoid window. You just take the probe in the sub area with the probe marker facing towards the patient's right, and you'll get an image like this. What you're comparing here is the sizes of the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Here's the right ventricle up here, and here's the left ventricle. A normal ratio is the left ventricle should be about two-thirds of the whole width of the heart, and the right ventricle should be about one-third the width of the whole heart. Now, there are ways to categorize right heart enlargement as mild, moderate, or severe based off of the exact ratio, but for the sake of simplicity, just think about it this way. If the right heart is bigger than the left heart, it's abnormal. So here we see the left heart is the green here and the right heart is a blue and you can see that the green part of the left ventricle is bigger than the right ventricle which is normal. If you look at this image right here, we just went ahead and colorized it and you can see that the bottom part or the green part which is the left ventricle is much smaller than the more anterior part um, or the blue part which is the right ventricle. So this patient has right heart enlargement. Now I saved the best view for right heart strain in my opinion for last. The way that you do that is you stick your probe in the point of maximal impulse at the apex of the heart right there with the probe marker facing towards the patient's right, and you should get an image like this. You want to look at the ratios between the left ventricle and the right ventricle. The left ventricle is the blue there, and the right ventricle is the red. Notice how the left ventricle is much bigger than the right ventricle. When you're looking for right heart strain, this is a good ratio. Now compare that to this image right here. We can see that the left ventricle or the blue chamber is much smaller than the right ventricle or the red chamber. This is a patient that has right heart enlargement. Now there is another sign that we can see here that would make you think that the patient has an acute right heart pathology. And that is the apical dipping of the right ventricle that we can see here. This is called the McConnell sign. Previously, this was thought to be very specific for a PE, but this can happen with anything acute. So if someone has a right ventricle infarction, they can also have this McConnell sign. Now, I do have to mention one thing about the way that you get the views. You see how the right ventricle is kind of leaning over towards the right side of the screen? This is called the RV modified apical four chamber, and you're actually looking at the right ventricle in a bit of an oblique fashion, so you might overestimate the size of it. So you want to get the apex kind of more towards the top of the screen, an image that would look more like this to get a good ratio between the two. Now we should talk about some things that might mess you up. Early on when I was doing these scans, I got really confused about this right here. I thought that this might be an actual clot. What this is is some trabeculae and that white kind of linear thing right there is something called the moderator band. This is normal to see in the right heart. This is what an actual clot looks like. This image I got courtesy of Mike Stone, and you can see the trabeculae here with the moderator band, and there's an actual clot rolling around on the right side of the heart. They look very different. Another thing that might mess you up is patients that have chronic right heart enlargement due to COPD or some other pulmonary pathology. If we look at this lateral wall right here, we can see it's actually very thickened. The way that you measure that is you look for a sub xiphoid view and you want to zoom in and get the lateral wall right there, and in end diastole, 
or when the chamber is the most filled, you want to measure that lateral wall right there. If it's greater than 0.5 centimeters, be thinking about chronic right heart enlargement. So to recap, the probe of choice is going to be the phased array probe. Your best view for this is going to be the apical four chamber, and you're looking for the ratio. You want to see if the right heart is bigger than the left heart. That's it for this week's 5-Minute Sono. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or send me a tweet. And don't forget to subscribe. Go to blog5 slash subscribe. Just type in your name and your email address, and you won't miss any more of these videos. Thanks.